So for the entire year of 2020, I decided to invest just $50 a month inside of a general investing account with Betterment and not do anything else and see what happened. I mean, why not? $50 into an investment and let's see what, what happens here. Well, I was shocked. Hey, what's up guys? It's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush your debt and live payment free. If you are new to the channel, we talk about all things debt free living and that includes really building your wealth once you become debt free. And so I've been testing Betterment for the past two years. The first year I just tested a thousand dollars lump sum inside of Betterment and did not invest a penny more and saw what happened. This past year, I decided to test contributing $50 per month into that account and then see what happens. So I'm gonna share the results today. All right, so here's a look inside of my Betterment account. And I went ahead and put the date range between January 1st of 2020 and January 1st of 2021 to show you exactly what happened. And this is cool because you can see from this chart of my balance how it dipped at the end of March. And I think we all know the reason why it dipped at the end of March. And then you can see it just go back on this upward trend for the rest of the year. So my starting balance in January was $1,234.31. Now I mentioned in 2019, I had done this experiment with just putting in $1,000. Now the extra $234 was the interest that I earned in 2019. So I kept all of those things the same and just decided to add the $50 a month. So throughout the course of the year, I had a net deposit. So in other words, the $50 per month that I contributed throughout the year added up to $550. And of that $550 I contributed on top of that 1200 bucks, I earned $268.68, which left me with an ending balance of $2,052.99. So it's really cool to see the account go from $1,200 to over $2,000 within the course of the year. And I know what you're probably thinking like, okay, yeah, that's not really a lot of money, but I didn't really start out with a whole lot either. And so to know that just being diligent and literally setting and forgetting the investment contributions, $50 a month, I did not miss from my budget and I was able to save and grow to $2,000 using Betterment. Super easy. Another chart that I wanna show you is this time-weighted investment returns chart. So it can show you what your rate of return is as you continue throughout the year. And so my cumulative was 12.9%. So almost 13% as a rate of return throughout 2020 and I did absolutely nothing. Let me show you what I was actually invested in. So I'm invested in 90% stocks and 10% bonds using the Betterment Core Portfolio Strategy. So because I knew I really wanted to be aggressive with this approach and I'm in my 30s and I have a long time to let my investments grow, I said, why the heck not? Let's go all in and do 90% stocks. So you'll see I have 32% of this investment in the US total stock market and that's primarily invested in VTI, which is the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. So 32% in that and then I have about 23% in the Vanguard VTSE developed market stocks and then 14.4% in VWO, which is also Vanguard. There you have it. So I'm invested in some other stuff, but primarily those three buckets are going to be the biggest ones that you see. 
Another thing about Betterment to note is that there is a 0.25% management fee that they charge every year, and that's just once per year. If you sign up with Betterment though, using my affiliate link, you can get those management fees waived for a year up to $5,000 in your account. And then they also do the same for me. So I feel like that's a win-win situation. And then don't forget the individual fund fees. And because I'm invested in Vanguard, the fund fees are super low. I mean, combined through my portfolio, I'm only paying 0.06%. And that translates to $1.24 on those fund fees plus the 0.25% management fee and I feel like this makes it really affordable and easy to understand how to invest with a robo-advisor platform like Betterment. Okay so I hopped over to the plan tab underneath my general investing and this is kind of cool because I didn't really set a target amount of what I wanted because I've been using this platform as kind of an experiment, a lab if you will. And you can see that they give you this chance, these percentages and probabilities of how much money you'll have by a certain year. So Let's see if I did, it's 2021. Let's see what it looks like in 10 years. So the average outcome would be $11,557. And I have a 10% chance of that, of this account growing to $19,402 if I keep everything else the same. So you're saying there's a chance. I like I like this chart. I wonder if I set a target amount. And you can set a target date. Okay, so let's say in 10 years, I wanna have, let's say, let's shoot big, $30,000. Long-term, investment portfolio into diversified ETFs. Oh, wow. And that changes my allocation from the 90-10 to 74-26. So moderate risk. Interesting because I'm kind of doing this midterm goal of just 10 years. I'm just going to exit out of that because I don't want to do it. But it's cool that Betterment gives you the option of kind of showing you how this thing could work. All right, so I've done two experiments thus far with Betterment, and I'm curious to know what experiment should I try inside of this platform for this year? Tell me in the comments below, I'm up for anything. Should I increase my contributions? Should I stop contributing again? Or should I change my portfolio strategy to something different? Maybe I go all in with stocks or maybe I go completely conservative and see what happens. Hmm, the possibilities are endless and I like using a robo-advisor platform like Betterment because it just makes it really easy and their re recommendations, I don't feel like I'm confused and they're very upfront about their fees. If you wanna try it and see how you go with Betterment. You can use my affiliate link below to sign up and get that management fee waived for up to $5,000 inside of your account. And happy investing, you guys. I think 2021 can be another great year of trying out new things to build wealth as you live that debt-free life. And I'll catch you in another video.